Both at Fatima and at Majigori there is a promise that the Immaculate Heart of Mary will triumph, at first there must be a decisive battle between the Madonna and the Devil. On August 25, 1991 the Queen of Peace revealed to the world her most famous message. In that message she states clearly that, indeed, Majigori will be the fulfillment of Fatima. In the message, she said Satan is strong and wants to sweep away plans of peace and joy. I invite you to realize through the secrets I began in Fatima may be fulfilled. I call you, dear children, to grasp the importance of my coming and the seriousness of the situation. I want to save all souls and present them to God. A less well-known message, yet immensely prophetic, was revealed to the visionaries in the early days of the apparitions in October of 1981. This prophetic message also connects Medjugorje to Fatima in a mysterious way, predicting that Russia would be consecrated to the Immaculate Heart of Mary and that Western civilization would turn away from God, leading to unknown consequences. She told the visionaries that, Russia will come to glorify God the most, the West will make civilization progress but without God and will act like their own creators. This message from the Queen of Peace at Medjugorje is tied to Fatima in two very specific ways. Those familiar with the secrets and events of Fatima understand that Russia is a central element of the Fatima secrets. The reasons for Russia's prominent role are hidden and mysterious but they cannot be denied. And two, the prophecy that Western civilization will reject God and fall away from the Christian faith. In Sister Lucia's memoirs, we discover that a significant aspect to the third secret was her concern that the West would reject God and that a godless culture would lead to punishments and to the loss of many souls. In 1984, the Bishop of Fatima confirmed that the third secret was not about an atomic war or the end of the world, but rather the Catholic faith, and specifically the loss of the faith in the West. Sister Lucia writes that, after much anguish, she finally wrote down the third secret when Our Lady appeared to her to confirm that it was God's will that she write down the third secret on paper. Over the years the Fatima visionary revealed very little about the contents of the third secret but, in a rare interview in 1957 with Father Fuentes, she spoke about a decisive battle between the Virgin Mary and the Devil, saying, Father, the Devil is about to engage in a decisive battle against the Holy Virgin Mary and the devil knows what it is that most offends God, and he knows what will give him the greatest number of souls in the shortest time. So the devil does everything to overcome the souls consecrated to God. Because he knows that in this way, the souls of the faithful, left without guidance, will fall more easily into his hands. What especially pains the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Heart of Jesus is the fall of the souls of priests. The devil knows that for every religious or priest who denies his holy vocation, many souls are dragged to hell. The devil yearns to take possession of consecrated souls. He tries in every way to corrupt them, to fall asleep the souls of the faithful and lead them to the worst in penitence. Sister Lucia continued saying, Our Lady did not expressly say that we are approaching the last days, but she made me understand that the devil is about to engage in a final battle against the Virgin, from which we will emerge victorious or defeated. So from now on we will have to choose which side to stay, either we are with God, or we are with the devil. There is no other possibility. These are profound words from the Fatima visionary. But if we open our eyes we can now see they are also prophetic. It seems today the Christian faithful find themselves in a world led by a governing elite that attaches itself to a culture that denies the existence of God. The West is now led by unwitting apostles of Satan. Our Lady at Fatima spoke of Russia and predicted the loss of faith in the West. And now we see that the Queen of Peace at Medjugorje speaks of Russia as well and prophesies that the West would build a society without God. If we open our eyes to these realities, particularly to the mysterious renewal of the Christian spirit in Russia, we can now openly ask, are we approaching the fulfillment? Is the time of the secrets upon us? Our Lady is calling. God bless and thank you for watching Mystic Post TV.